the story of a man that could inspire thousands who has thousands one who has fought his way from being a migrant laborer to become a student of medicine 33 year old krishna chandra ataka has spent the last 15 years as a farm and migrant laborer his family struggles in abject poverty in the village in rayagada district of odisha but krishna chandra uh, who finished his 12th standard in 2006 kept his dream alive he fought all odds and cracked the neat exam this year to get admissions to an MBBS seat at the Shahid Rendo Mahaji Medical College in Kalahandi in Odisha. He will start college soon. Joining us from the farmlands of his Tuapadi village, Krishna Chandra, who I spoke to a short while ago. Well, Krishna, your story is one that could inspire thousands. Narrate to us some of the most difficult moments of your life, which could be lessons of strength to many. Yeah, sir, yeah, sir, Namaskar, sir, yeah, it's really painful, sir, while I'm uh, traveling to Kerala, uh, uh, yeah, uh, there was uh, no money, uh, uh, so uh, we were uh, in the train, and uh, uh, so without, uh, uh, yeah, we had our general ticket, but uh, yeah, it's very painful when we get down from the Went to uh, one night we slept there and searching the jobs uh, like you know, the the labor work to the Kerala. It was so very difficult and pathetic for my for me, sir. It's fascinating, Krishna, what you've gone through. And the most fascinating part of your story is you passed your 12th standard in 2006, and for the last 15 years. You worked as a farm laborer, first for 13 years in your own village and then for a couple of years in Kerala, as you were just pointing out to us. Did you always know you will get back to studies and work to becoming a doctor? Yes, sir. Actually, I inspired from my high school teacher. Uh, so, so yeah, I was dreaming to become a doctor. So, yeah, in 2021, I, got, I, started, I started my preparation to qualify the need, sir. Well, you remember, you were inspired by your high school teacher. How did you keep yourself motivated through those 15 long years, Krishna? Sir, uh, yeah, actually my wife, I, I got married in 2018. My wife uh, uh, was telling to me, if we come to doctor and uh, some of my juniors, they inspired me very well, mm -hmm. sir. And uh, uh, which makes me uh, to qualify oh, this need, sir. Was there any time when you doubted yourself, a time when you lost all hope? Yeah, it was difficult and uh, uh, very much doubtful, sir, uh, because uh, uh, in our family there was no food for eating and uh, so uh, I was in Kerala and uh, for earning and returning back home and uh, again planning to get qualified need is very difficult. And uh, because I have no choice, I have uh, do not have any options to uh, uh, stable my family. So, which makes me uh, this uh, qualification, I mean, this uh, need to qualify the success. Yeah. What would you say was your biggest challenge, Krishna, while writing those NEET exams? Sir, actually, in our area, there is no coaching center. So, I used to... Uh, get some support from internet and uh, I, I bought from NCRT boy, books and some st study material from online and uh, yeah, which, yeah, in this way I qualify. Sir. What would you tell Krishna to people, thousands like you who have dreams, who are struggling as migrant laborers but don't have the resources to pursue their dreams? Sir, I would like to message them, uh, yeah, uh, because uh, yeah, I am a poor boy, also as, uh, I face this uh, hardshipness in our area and uh, becoming a migrant worker, uh, everybody has to, uh, has to become a doctor. Mm. Yeah, number of uh, boys and girls are going to Kerala uh, or to uh, Surat, so I am especially mm. requesting to them, please uh, uh, dream to become success, uh, maybe it would be a message for them, sir. What a fascinating message. You want them to hold on to their dreams no matter what. Huh? 
Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You want them to hold on. And what is your dream after you become a doctor, Krishna? What specialization have you thought of all those? Yes, sir. After after completion of my MBBS, uh, I will take uh, general medicine because here now um, in our area there is no doctors and there is no health facilities. So I am thinking to have this general medicine would be good for our people to our area, sir. Is there one moment, and I'm asking you this again, Krishna, is there one moment in your life which you can recall or recollect and share with us now when you lost all hope? Yeah, after my uh, 12 completion, uh, I returned back to home. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, in the family, there was no money. So father told me, you just stop your study and going higher study. So uh, I depressed and uh, I worked in my village uh, and uh, 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 for uh, money, no, I had to go. Brilliant, Krishna. When will you start your course, uh, your medicine course? Sir, uh, uh, next uh, September, of first week of September, sir. Are you, are you nervous? Yeah, a bit nervous, sir, because, uh, yeah, since long, uh, long time there was no study, all these things, no, sir, so... Yeah, a bit nervous, but uh, yeah, also it is excitement to attend the uh, course completion, sir. Well, I don't think you need to be nervous. Thank you, Krishna. Maybe one day I will come and get myself treated sure, by you in sure, Odisha. Sir. Thank, huh? you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, sir.